Welcome to a quick tip in Anime Studio Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over shape ordering. So we have two Batman characters here. This is the wrong one. This is what we would want our Batman to look like at the end of the tutorial. So if we go into where everything is wrong here on this character, it looks like we have one layer, the body layer, and inside this body we have all these different shapes here. None of them are welded together, they're all just separate. Let's go into the Batman here, click on the body, we'll just show this how it's broken up. Oh, that looks like that one is actually, might be welded, it shouldn't be, it should just be a shape. Interesting. Well that is actually a welded shape, I don't know how that happened, don't remember welding that, but that's okay. What you can do with shape ordering is basically reorder the shapes to however you want them. It's very useful, especially if you have a situation like this where your shapes are all out of whack. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select the body layer. I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard or select shape. So first you have to select your shape before you move it. So right here I have this little tool belt selected. And to move the shape up, I hit up on the keyboard. To move the shape down, I hit down on the keyboard. But because in this shape, in this layer example of this body, I have multiple shapes in just the one body layer. So I actually am gonna hit shift, hold shift on the keyboard and then push up. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna push that one shape up through all the, all the other shapes automatically. Same thing, if I go to this body structure here, this whole gray shape here, I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna push down on the keyboard. And it's actually gonna move that whole entire shape below all these other shapes. As you can see here, it's pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna hit Q on my keyboard. It's still select actually, the tool for the select shape. And I am just gonna push down once on my keyboard to take that shape down once and just to run through it real quick hold up push down if any time the shape is selected those shapes will move if i hold shift push down it's going to move that shape all the way down how do i get to that shape again well you're pretty much just going to have to push this whole gray shape all the way back or probably an alternative is you would drag that out if there's if those points weren't welded uh, select it and then push it back through the other shapes and maybe nudge it back but that's probably not recommended when it's welded like that so again i'm just going to push i'm going to select this whole gray shape here select shape tool and just hold shift pushes all of that up don't want that hold shift push all the way down pushes all that down so that is how you order shapes inside of it of a layer so when you have multiple shapes inside of a layer that's how you order shapes. If you wanted to bring his arm up above his body, so if I take his right arm and I put it above his body, I'm gonna hold Q on the keyboard, select his arm, there we go. So I selected his arm and I'm gonna hold shift and push up and it's not doing anything. And the reason why is because the right arm isn't in the same layer as the body. If the, if the right arm was in the same layer as the body, I'd be able to do that, but it's not. So if I actually wanted to move the right arm above the body, I'm actually just gonna take and I'm gonna drag the layer up above the body. And that's how you would move layers. But that's something you probably already figured out already. But shape ordering, that is something that you'd have to do always is whenever inside the layer with multiple shapes and you're wanting to fix the order of them, always use the select uh, tool the select shape tool yeah, up and down on the keyboard or shift up and down to bring that push that shape all the way through the other shapes this has been a quick tip in anime studio for shapes be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for the next quick tip